New details and video from the case surrounding TWA Flight 800 that crashed back in the 90s. Chris Van Cleen was live now with the latest on the investigation into what really happened. Chris. Well, and Leon, that remains a pretty big question. In fact, the NTSB has been petitioned to reopen their investigation by the makers of a documentary that is set to run on the anniversary of the TWA crash, July 17th. They believe the NTSB findings were not the actual cause of this crash. The NTSB today laid out what they found 17 years ago. It was the explosion here in the center wing fuel tank of TWA Flight 800 that the NTSB says brought the 747 airliner down 17 years ago, just 10 minutes after it took off from New York JFK, headed for Paris. The ignition most likely stemming from a short circuit that sparked fuel vapor. The NTSB rarely allows access to the reassembled portion of the fuselage, but did so today as part of a rare closed door briefing. No cameras allowed inside for an overview of their investigation, much of it refuting allegations raised in an upcoming documentary that claims TWA 800 was brought down by an outside explosion like a missile strike. Matt Zemkowitz's sister was a flight attendant on TWA 800. He attended the briefing today. Hearing, you know, talk of, you know, of a movie coming out and reigniting conspiracy theories that we as family members heard about years ago um, was kind of you know bringing up old wounds and I wanted to come and show my support uh, to the NTSB. Former NTSB investigator Hank Hughes worked on the investigation in 1996. He participated in that documentary saying now the NTSB needs to reconsider its findings. What do you think brought down this airplane? An external explosion, quite probably a missile. Now, all three of the NTSB investigators who worked on this TWA 800 crash that spoke to us today believe that the findings were accurate. They believe in the report the NTSB issued years ago. However, the agency is reviewing this request to reopen the investigation. Live in Ashburn, Chris Van Cleve, ABC 7 News. All right.